Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina, thanks for watching. Per your Instagram request, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Hit me up at CuddlePill. So per your Instagram request, via stories, you requested that I share my winter skincare routine, so I figured I would do it. I am sharing with you guys today my winter skincare routine, and we're kicking things off with my AM skincare. So it's Wednesday morning and I'm getting ready for work and here we go, let's do this. So the first, the first step of my routine after brushing my teeth and waking up is cleansing. So I kind of switch up my cleansers really kind of frequently. The one I'm using now is this Bosha charcoal cleanser. It's really nice and light. It, you know, my face feels really clean afterwards. I really love all of Bosch's cleanser. They actually have another one that I love just as much that I'll also link to, but great product, super light. I have like dry, normal to dry skin. So um, this is perfect for me. I just want like a standard cleanser that's not gonna dry up my face. The cleaning off makeup aspect doesn't really matter because I only use this one in the morning. We'll get into my night routine later in this video, but really all I want is a good cleanser to make my face feel nice and nice and clean and crisp without drying it out, and this stuff has been doing the trick lately. Second step after cleansing is my vitamin C serum. And this product I've been using for I think like four years now. It is a godsend. It's life-changing. I will use it until I die. Literally. It's a CE Ferulic Serum by SkinCeuticals. I've used this stuff for years and I will continue to do so. It is insane. It helps making my skin feel plump. It helps with fine lines. It helps with dark spots. So it's just like an everyday vitamin C serum. That's, I think, one of the best out there, and I think a lot of other people would agree with me. The drawback with this stuff is that it is on the pricier side. It's 166 bucks, I think, a bottle, which is a lot, but I buy it from Derm Store. They run SkinCeutical sales like a few times a year where you get like 15 to 20% off. So that's usually when I snag it. So get on their email list. I'll link to the site and the product below so you can check that out. Another thing, I will link to all the products that I'm showing you guys today in the details of the video. I do about two to three drops on my face every morning. I put on my face and neck. I kind of do this thing where I just sort of like trace my fingers so it looks like this. And I do this and kind of just tap it on. Again, it goes everywhere my face and then sometimes I'll run it down my neck as well. You can also put it on your chest area just because that's another area that ages that we tend to neglect. So that is the vitamin C. I let it soak in for a minute or two before putting anything else on. So we're gonna wait it out. So now that my vitamin C serum is all soaked in, I then apply my Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is another standard skincare routine step that every, every, everyone should use. So the vitamin C alongside the Hyaluronic Acid. It is like one of the things that makes my skin the plumpest and it just like makes my skin nice and soft and hydrated. And it's, this is like critical in the winter months. I recently found this one by Eminence. It's a strawberry rhubarb hyaluronic serum. It is insane and I want to basically eat it. It's that good. It smells like candy. And it's reasonably priced. I think it's under $50. It's all organic, so if that's something that's important to you, this checks that box as well. This one you can actually apply up to three times a day. I typically do it one to two, definitely in the morning, sometimes in the evening, depending on how my skin is feeling. You just kind of apply a thin layer over your face and like similar to what I was doing with the vitamin C serum, I kind of just trace it like that on my two fingers, kind of like that much. And same thing, just kind of tap it on, let it soak in. So those are my two morning serums on a regular basis. I'll throw in other ones if I'm like trying to target a specific skincare concern. But for right now, those are the two in my rotation. Next product I usually apply is my eye cream. So this is my day eye cream. It's the Ole Heinrichsen 
Banana Bright. This stuff is awesome. I've been using it for about a year now and I love it and I've told a million friends about it and they love it just as much. It has banana powder in it which is supposed to help with dark circles um, under your eyes and it definitely does do that and it's supposed to have vitamin C and be collagen boosting so all good things. It smells great. The thing that I love about it the most actually is how my makeup sits on top of it and also just how it feels on my skin and it smells just delightful. So I take kind of a little amount and just tap it around my eye area. Oh, it feels so good. I love this stuff. And it smells like bananas. So this product, definitely a must buy. Next step is moisturizer and I, Always, always do moisturizer with SPF. If you don't have a moisturizer with SPF, make sure that you add the SPF as a last step to your skincare routine. Super important, that's like the number one cause of aging, and I'll actually link to a blog post where I talk about the biggest ways to avoid aging, and adding SPF is like the number one thing. The moisturizer that I use, and I've been using this one also for years, so again, keep in mind, I have like normal dry skin, so I really love like an intense moisturizer. I like my skin looking shiny for that like glowy, glowy look, and it's really hard to achieve that in the winter, and I find that this moisturizer lets me do that. So the one I use, it's a Josie Moran SPF 47 moisturizer. There are two versions of this. There's one with a tint in it. I use the one without the tint because I don't like the tinted one, it's a little bit orangey. So this is the one that I prefer. It has argan oil in it. It also smells lovely and it's super hydrating. Makes my skin feel like butter. So I do about two and a half pumps of this, so kind of a lot. And the great thing about it is that it has sunscreen but it doesn't make your face look, give your face that like chalky look or feel. So I kind of rub this on, make sure I hit the forehead. Depending on the time of year and how I'm feeling, I'll sometimes mix in a self tanner into my routine. I'm not gonna do it today because I've been using it a lot this week and I don't wanna look too tan because we know it's not natural. It's like end of December here. The one that I, the self tanner that I use and I really actually enjoy is the Kula. It's like an anti-aging self tanning lotion for the face. I put in two pumps over my moisturizer in the morning and under my makeup. So like right now would be the time I would do two pumps, kind of spread it all over my face and neck. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It really, you forget that you have it on, which is great. And the tan is so gradual and it takes like a few days of building up to even see a color, especially if you're mixing it with your moisturizer. If you want more of an intense tan, I recommend putting on it at night, maybe before bed, just like straight on your face with nothing else, because then you'll see the effect stronger, but it's a little riskier that way because you never know how it's gonna turn out on your skin. So I take the approach of mixing it in my moisturizer over a few days and getting like a gradual tan going. So this stuff is great. I'm not really sure what the like anti-aging claims are. I don't actually think they're legit. Maybe they are, but that's not really why I use this product. I just like the way that it tans my skin. Another potential additional step, which I'm also not gonna do today because I'm feeling pretty hydrated right now, is if you need a little bit more hydration, your skin is like feeling a little bit extra dry, more than normal, mix in some face oil with your moisturizer. There are a couple ones I use pretty regularly. One of them is the Dermalogica Phyto Replenish Oil. This stuff is great, super intense. So you mix like four drops of this in with your moisturizer, just for a little bit of hydration, for shine. So this is like on super dry days, or like if I was drinking a lot the day before, you know how that goes, which has been happening a lot lately because of all the holiday parties, but this is a great solution to just add a little bit of something to your morning routine to give you give your skin a little extra hydration and shine. 
If you don't want to spend all that money on like a fancy face oil, you can just go with like a standard jojoba oil. I really love this one by acne.org. It's cheap, it's awesome, it's like great quality, and this bottle lasts four years. I've had this for like four or five years. I can link to a post where I shared this like 2015 and I still have the same bottle and it's still chugging along. There's a lot left. Uh, jojoba oil is great. It's actually one of the oils out there that's closest to the oil of our actual skin. So works out well in terms of when you're adding it to your routine. It won't make you break out. It's just like adding a little bit of your skin's own oil onto your face. You can use it in your hair. I use it actually to moisturize my cuticles at night. You can use it as like a hand oil, body oil, literally for anything. It's awesome and it's all natural, which is always a bonus. That wraps up my morning skincare regimen. I'll hop back on tonight as I'm doing my nighttime skincare and then I'll also run through some of the products I like rotate in on a weekly basis uh, to switch things up. I'm gonna get ready now. I'll chat with you guys soon. All right, we're back. It's Wednesday night now. It's been a while since I recorded this morning, but I wanted to talk through my nighttime skincare routine along with some of like the stuff that I rotate in weekly and don't use every night. But the first step, so I'm actually about to hop in the shower and typically right before I jump in the shower, I'm a night shower, so I wash my makeup off before I jump in the shower. And my favorite, favorite thing to use to get off all the makeup is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This stuff is amazing. It is on the pricier side and I'm sure there are other products out there that still do the trick like an oil cleanse that aren't like 50 bucks, but honestly, this product is amazing. What I'll do is I'll take a look and try to link to a more affordable option as well because I know there are some out there. Um, essentially, all you need is like an oil cleanse. This is like the concept of double cleansing. And I actually did a blog post on this that I'll link to in the details of this video so you can check out the deets, but um, so this concept of double cleansing, basically the first step is to get all the makeup and dirt off of your face with like an oil-based cleanser and then using a water-based cleanser as a second step just to like sort of cleanse and brighten up your skin. So the first step for me is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse and it is literally like an oil. You can't, oh there you go, you could see it. It's like kind of greasy. You wash it, you put it on your face dry and you kind of just Mix it in and you see, you can see the makeup breaking down, like see and feel it. Like you can see it's getting my mascara off. So you do is you rub it on, get your makeup off, put it on dry, and then you rinse it with some water and get a little lather going. So you can see it's kind of gotten all my makeup off, but now it's like all over my face. So I just add a touch of water, mix it in, and kind of get an actual cleanse going. And then you rinse it off. And try to avoid getting makeup all over your sink like I do every single time. So I did the pre-cleanse, got all my makeup off. And the next step is actually one that I normally do in the shower, but I'll do it here for purposes of this video so you guys can see what I'm doing. So the second cleanser I use in my double cleansing routine right now is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. Super, you know, foaming, nice, feels good on your skin, doesn't dry my face out. Uh, so I just put a dab of this, and again, this is like a step I normally do when I'm showering. So this stays in my shower for the most part, but now I'll just show you guys how I do it. So yeah, this is just like a standard cleanser. You wanna wet your face when you do it, and you just kinda get in there. Super squeaky clean. I got my makeup off and now I did a second cleanse. So really, really, really got all that dirt out, hopefully, you would think. So now that I've got my double cleanse out of the way, and again, this is another step I typically do in the shower, I do an exfoliator, like a very gentle exfoliator that I use daily. And the one that I use is the Dermalogica Microfoliant. This shit is awesome. If you buy like anything out of this video, 
buy the vitamin C serum and this because it's insane. And basically what it is is like a dry powder that you mix with water and it creates this like exfoliating lather that you kind of run in circular motion in your face and it makes your skin feel and look like a million bucks and it's not invasive. It's not like most of those harsh exfoliators that like can break your capillaries or dry your skin or anything like that. This stuff is amazing and it's gentle enough for everyday use. So I use it every single day when I shower before bed. So before I put it on, I gotta wet my face a little bit, which is why I normally put it on the shower. And this doesn't go in the eye area, I just kinda go around. So you add probably like a half a teaspoon's worth of, this is what it looks like. It's like a powder, Oops, spilling it everywhere. And you just kinda mix it in, you can see it turns into this like, turns into this like weird foaming, not foaming, but like a weird lathery cleanser. And you kinda just rub it in in like circular motions, make sure you get your forehead. Literally just scrub it on for like 20, 30 seconds and then rinse it off. There we go, I haven't even put moisturizer on and my skin feels amazing. So now, before I get into like the creams and moisturizers that I'm going to apply, I'm going to jump in the shower and I'll be back. I look super rosy right now because I shower in like steaming hot water. I know it's terrible for you, but it's what I like to do. Side note, don't make fun of my little hair turban right now. It is one of my curly hair hacks, which if you have curly hair, you need one of these microfiber towels because they're life changing. I will link to the blog post so that you can find out why. Back to the skincare stuff. Depending on my current needs, the time of year, I kind of switch up my nighttime routine. Normally I use retinol three times a week, but I've weaned off of it this week because I'm gonna be in Miami on Friday and I don't wanna burn my face off. So no retinol for me tonight, but the retinol that I use and I actually did a blog post all about retinol, why you should use it, how you introduce it to your routine, and some of the ones that I recommend testing. The one that I use is the Skin Medica Retinol Complex 1.0 Complex. Did I have a lisp there? Retinol Complex 1.0. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. Okay. This stuff is great. It's highly, highly rated. It's super intense. I think it might even be like one of the strongest or one of the stronger ones out there that's actually over the counter. So beware if your skin is super sensitive, I probably get one that's not as aggressive. Skin Medica actually has um, ones that are not as intense as this one, but their retinols are rated very, very highly. I think they're great. My skin looks like super shiny after using this stuff. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this one. I'll link to the blog post so that you can check out some of the other ones I recommend and I'll also link to a more affordable version in the details of this video because this shit's kind of pricey. It's like 95 bucks, 98 bucks, something like that. On the expensive side, there are more affordable ones out there that are just as good. So that's what I use for all over my face. I currently have it in my rotation every other day. Some folks use it every day. I just am like too afraid to. I don't think my skin would handle it. But yeah, use it every other day. And it basically it helps like exfoliate and it, and it helps your skin regenerate, kind of shaves all that dead skin off of your face so that it leaves like brand new, shiny, healthy skin showing. And it also boosts collagen production as a result because you're, it's like basically like eating away your, your dry skin. So super awesome, but not good to use if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or if you're gonna be out in the sun soon, which is why I'm not using it today. So the one thing with using retinol is that you have to have some sort of exfoliator in your product mix. There are a couple that I rotate in between depending on how I feel, what I wanna use, you know how that goes. So one of the exfoliators that I love, love, love lately and it's Seriously magical. The one that I'm using now, we should probably switch this over, is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I think it's called the Two Minute Facial, whatever it says on there. What is it? Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Same thing. This shit is magical and I swear to you, it is literally like a two minute facial and apparently people in Hollywood use it, so you know it's good. 
but really it's super super intense so warning do not use this like the day after you do retinol or like in the beginning because it will burn your face and it did that to me so warning learn from my mistakes don't do that but definitely rotate it in once a week maybe like on the weekend when you haven't done your retinol for a couple days this stuff is awesome and basically what it is it's like a green i'm not going to use it today because well maybe i will use this today i'll use this today you can see what it looks like basically you're supposed to use it once or twice a week like i mentioned and you apply like a thin layer over a wet face that's clean so i gotta wet my face just a tad and you squeeze on, I squeeze on like a tiny little dab because it's pretty potent. So you need about like that much, not a ton. And you could feel like the grains when you put it on. So you basically put it on, it smells like kind of pepperminty and you go in circular motions. So you kind of rub your face in like circular motions for like 30 seconds. You can feel the burn. I'm also getting red, this is what happens. So then you let it sit on as is for two minutes. That's why it's called the two minute facial. So I'm gonna leave it on and then you just rinse it off and then you're ex nice and exfoliated and you'll kind of see what my skin looks like afterwards. Be right back. Okay, I just washed it off and you can see like your skin gets a little bit red but I promise that fades after a little bit and you can kind of see like the shine Hopefully, let me see. See if I turn this light on. No. And you can kind of see like the nice shine cause your skin is like nice and fresh underneath. This shit is seriously amazing. Highly, highly recommend trying it. The other thing to keep in mind is if you have sensitive skin in the beginning, you can actually leave it on for less than two minutes. Uh, I do two minutes cause my skin isn't like super sensitive, but if you're on the more sensitive side, I wouldn't leave it on for as long, but definitely you'll still see results. So definitely worth trying. So now moving on into the like moisturizer, eye cream, oils, all that good stuff. So eye cream is another thing I switch up depending on the night of the week. I just rotated in like a retinol eye cream into the mix, so similar to the normal retinol that I put on my face. So that's something you should know do not put like the other stuff on your eyelid and your eye area you're kind of supposed to put it around so if you want retinol for your eyes you have to get like a very specific kind so that it doesn't get irritated or burn your eyelids off just get to know so the one that i've been using i just started rotating it in i i've been rotating it in for like twice a week so my skin's like still adjusting to it the one that i've been using is this age reversal complex by dermalogica I basically use it a couple times a week and I tap it around my eye area and I've been doing it twice a week so far and I'm really liking the results. I'm seeing like a little bit of a reduction in the fine lines and my skin just feels like a little bit like more taut if you know what I mean. So great stuff worth trying if you're looking for like a retinol based eye cream. So we got the retinol eye cream. When I'm not using that, I actually use another eye cream that I rotate in a few times a week on the days I'm not using retinol. Side note, you probably think I'm insane with like the number of products I use, but that's why I wanted to share them with you because I've tested a lot of stuff and these have made the cut and have been in my rotation for quite some time now. So just keep that in mind. These are things that I love, use every day, and recommend to like all my friends and family. So the eye cream that I rotate in on the days I'm not using retinol. So the eye cream that I've been rotating in, and you probably can't even really see the packaging because it's faded. It's the Dennis Gross Marine Do It Eye Gel. It's like a hyaluronic acid eye cream. So it basically helps make your eye area look more plump. It helps with like dark circles a little bit, but mainly it's the plumpness and the reduction of fine lines and wrinkles. This stuff is amazing and you'll notice a difference like the next day you use it for the first time. I've actually ordered it like two or three times and I'm running a little bit low. So note to self, I need to order this again. But this stuff is great and I'm actually gonna put it on tonight since as discussed earlier, I'm headed to Miami on Friday and I cannot put retinol on at all. So this is what I'm doing. And you really only need like this much for each eye. This might even be a little bit too much, but you essentially take it 
and you like tap it on, kind of rub it on. I put it all over my eyelid. It doesn't have like a strong smell, which is nice. And it's perfect if you have like sensitive skin because it's like no fragrance, nothing irritating. It's awesome. So this is the Dennis Gross. It's hard to like see the impact it has now because it's really like the next day where it looks great. But you can see it's like super lightweight. It gives you like a nice little shine, like a little bit of a dewy look, but nothing crazy. So this stuff is great. I actually, side note and fun fact, I have my boyfriend using it too. So, and a few of my friends have started using it and have raved about it. So good stuff. In terms of like nighttime moisturizers, I typically go more on like the face oil side. I don't normally use like a moisturizer moisturizer at nighttime. The one I'll rotate in occasionally is the Paula's Choice Radiance Renewal Mask. And it's just like a really nice gel kind of, and it's like a thick serum sort of, and you put it on and it just like feels very luscious and nice and your skin feels like a baby's butt the next day. So I do rotate that in occasionally. And nights where I'm not using that and I don't wanna do a moisturizer, I typically use a face oil. And the one that I've had in my rotation for quite some time now is the Herbivore Phoenix Face Oil. Everything Herbivore makes is insane and I love their stuff and the packaging and the smell and like everything about it and the fact that it's like all natural, organic. It's like an amazing brand. Highly recommend checking it out. It's kind of on the pricier side, so if you don't wanna splurge on like a fancy luxurious face oil, you could just do, like I mentioned earlier, like a jojoba oil or like a coconut oil, and you know, it'll have a similar effect. There are some like other ingredients, obviously like peppered in these guys, but if you just wanna do like a simple face oil, you could just do those. Herbivore has like a few different kinds of facial oils. I think this one is like more of like the anti-aging one, but there are like other ones for like hydration and like different concoctions. I think there's like a cucumber one, a rose one, like all that good stuff. But this is the Phoenix one that I've been using and really, really love. You need like maybe like four to six drops. And I do the same thing as I do with my serums. I kind of just run it along my fingers and rub it across my face. It just feels so nice to have oil on your skin and this smells, it smells like flowers. It smells so delicious. And I don't really hit the eye area because I want the eye cream to sort of do its magic. I might run a little bit more on my neckline because for some reason in the winter, my neck gets like crazy dry and crusty. It's gross. So I definitely hit the neck with like all the stuff I'm putting on my face and just bring it down and you should too because people forget about their neck and that's actually a place where you show signs of age like fairly early so just keep that in mind there we go you kind of see it's got like a very nice glow to it and you wake up with your skin nice and luscious and soft and dewy my goal in life is to have dewy skin all of the time and i feel like the skincare routine has sort of helped me get there at least based on feedback i've gotten from others i always get asked what skincare products I use, how my skin is so shiny all the time, and now you know my secrets. Hopefully this video was helpful and you have a couple of new products that you wanna rotate into your routine. I would love to hear your tips, your recommendations, products that you live by. Drop me a comment and let me know. I'm always experimenting with new shit, so let me know and I'll give your stuff a try. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and definitely subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. I post a lot of videos on skincare, on beauty, a lot on like vintage style and like how-to videos in terms of fashion. So that's what you can expect from me. I'm still fairly new to YouTube and trying to find my groove. So would love to hear your ideas on other videos you wanna see from me too. I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye.